everyone shaper 1000 here today we're going to put some lights in here in the uh, carport so i can work like at dark time or when it's shady like this hopefully these will help in recording videos so i've got 10 of these they're five feet long so i want to start and i want to put one and two so i'm going to do that there i'm not going to light up the whole thing yet if i like them then i'll buy another set and finish that back half right now i'm going to do this half so we're going to put them down through here down through there down through there and then same on the other side about right to here so look at this jesus nobody takes pride or quality in what they do i mean it's like these uh, i'll show you here one of these let's fit this in it's like you know you pay good money for stuff but they don't want to give you good products or anything like that well, one of these was kind of... Yeah, right there. See that? Let me get you in the light. You know, $120 for lights and that's the crap you get. It don't fit. Hit it harder. You know, what? Anyway, so got everything I need here. I got some switches and these are what's going to make them go from end to end so when i hook it you know the first one's going to go here and then i'll hook the second one it'll hook in right there so but yeah so that'll be the first half lit up and if i like it like i said i'll do the other half i'll get another set up and do the other half i am going to put a ceiling fan in the center of this thing just to kind of help move some air around you know have it sucking up so it can bring air in here and suck it up and disperse it out the top because heat rises so i don't want it blowing down on me because any heat that goes up there is going to be blowing back down on me so but let's go ahead i got to get a marker mark some holes it's got these pieces but i won't be able to use them because i got to go to the end so it also comes with these so they got four four point six stars out of uh 197 reviews or something like that so they seem to be um uh, there are a couple i noticed one somebody had an end that was kind of burnt up i don't know if they just didn't have it in right or what but there's not very many bad reviews most of them's five star there's a couple four star but so let me go get my marker so i can mark some holes i got i got these here they're self tappers so i'm gonna try them hopefully they won't break off in there i've tried to use them on other things and they broke off but maybe they won't break off in this thin stuff it's not real thin i mean it's pretty good gauge but we'll we'll see i'll drill you know i'll do a test hole and then we'll see from there all right cue the intro let's uh put some lights up okay guys i'll try not to block your view too bad so what i'm going to do put this right on the end of here I'm gonna hold this up here about where I want it so probably I'm gonna go right about there kind of hard to do 
by yourself, but I don't have any help, so. So, yeah. Looks like I'll just put that one like right toward the edge there. About like right there. Let's try one of these screws and see if it'll go in there. Might have to go buy different screws. And I'm probably going to have to get my little center punch. Alright, let me get my center punch. I don't think these are going to work. Yeah, I don't think these are going to work. What? Why did they make... I'll be back with you. Hang on. Okay, I guess I'm just going to pre-drill them first. And I don't have a sharp drill bit. Nice. Find another bit. Okay guys, so this is what I got here. They're self tappers. We're gonna try these. I also got a couple new drill bits just in case this don't work but we're going to try these these things were 40 cents a piece i got a box of 100 for nine dollars so yeah these are going to work but i might run into a problem here So let's, um, I should have got some shorter ones while I was there, but I didn't. All right, now, just to see. I'll screw that one all the way in. Yeah, I think that's going to be all right. Now I got to get down here to the other side. Ah, crap. I should try to twist that. I don't know why they did that. Let me try to. I don't even know what you guys are seeing. Let me try to take that screw out, get that pushed back in, and I got to get another bit. Hang on a second, guys. Okay, I got to move you guys over. I'm sorry. See, that should have been pushed like that. Why do I gotta do everybody else's job when I paid them to do it?
let me get this one marked. two of them up and my battery's going dead Jesus at least I got five other ones or something like that I'm gonna change the battery out but there it is whoa damn it that one went a little crooked but it's like these things ain't heavy they're very very light so Let's step back. It's gonna be straight enough. Well, what I forgot to do is get some wire. Jesus. So I can run from this one up to that one. And then I'll hook from the end of this one and I'll go over to that one. Uh, let me see, yeah. I'll hook to the end of this one, go over to this one, down to that one, and then down to this one, and over to this one. So, we've got two, four, six more to put up. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. And, uh, I'm gonna change your battery, and I'll be back with you. You can see it's gonna be kind of a pain because I'm going to be on the ladder on these ones up here, so. Uh, yeah, it's pretty boring. Just going to be marking them and then, um, and then putting screws in them, so. Yeah. And then the center, the center of this one, this is one, two, three, four, so I'll go to the center right here to where that, that line is there. I'll go down the center. Same way over here. I'll go into the center one. And go down there. So, I'm not sure what I'm going to do about wiring yet. I might have to sacrifice. I might have to sacrifice uh, an extension cord. I got to get new ones anyway. But see, these aren't going to be long enough to go up where I need to go. But to give you, they give you these. So you can hook your wires onto the end and make these however long you want them. So I'll kick you back on when, <coughs> once I get the other six lights put up.
guys. So now I got a, I've got an extension cord over here or in the house that has been repaired once from when Bruno was little. He chewed it through. Thank God it wasn't plugged in. But so I've got to make, I've got to make three cords. One to go from that one to this one, and then to go from that one to this one. So, yeah, one, two, and three. <laughs> there we go. All right, so I'm going to get that cord made up. I'm going to solder it and use the, the, uh, yeah, you know, that stuff. <laughs> Heat shrink on it. And um, then we'll get those plugged in. I'm going to use... I'm going to use these. I'll hook up to these. And then this will plug in one side and then it'll be lengthened and it'll plug in to the other one. Like from that one to that one. Then it'll go from that one to this one. And then from that one down to that one. So I need to make up three of these with six of these ends. Um, so yeah, it should be should be self-explanatory. Uh, I don't know if I'll record any of that. I may record one for you, and I'll fast forward it because it's just soldering and that kind of thing. So uh, let's move on to that part, and then we'll plug the end in and see and see if. Uh, see if they work uh, so what I want to do is on this one here and that one down there so the second one in from out from both ends on either side I want to put so it'll be four receptacles um, so I can plug stuff in when I'm out here because you know you're still gonna need trouble lights and stuff so chargers whatnot I can just plug them in when I'm out here working like I said, only half of this is going to be lit up right now, and that's the half that I work closest to the garage where my tools are. And if I like them, then I'll light the rest of them up. So, and what's good about that is, like, if I don't need them all on, say it's nighttime, I just need this section, I'm going to make it to where I can just turn this section on, or that section, or both of them. So, alright, let me get back with you guys.
Okay guys, now we're going to take our end here, it's got a little switch on it, and I'm just going to run this through here. this I'm gonna plug this in just like that this be mounted here or something eventually so um I gotta get some zip ties and stuff for like Guys, looking at here. Something happened. Hang on, guys. So anyway, I got to get some zip ties for that. I dropped my camera earlier. Now it wants to act up when I'm zooming. Doesn't want to focus, it looks like something's going. Of course. So, anyway, let's get this plugged in. Okay, now I got you zoomed in, but I don't know, there's something going on with my camera. So, I'm gonna plug them in like I said for now until I can get regular get it wired right like it's supposed to be okay I don't like that up is on and down is off whatever okay let's back you up here all right now Okay, now let's kick them on. Okay, cool. Now we'll have to come out here, of course, at nighttime and check it out. Awesome. So we just hung 40 feet of light. <laughs> Each one of these is five feet long. We still got two left in here in this box. Come on. Well, I don't know what I did in my camera. But anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna run another set of these. Something's going on. Down on this end. And then I'll have two left over. You know, I'll do the same thing that I did here. I'll have two left over. And I'll put two in the center there. Well, two here. And then the other two here. So, all right, I'll kick you back on when it gets dark. And um, I don't know what's going on. I'll kick you back on when it's dark. Okay guys, so they give you these little Mickey Mouse things. And what they do is go into the end that you're not using. Keeps the moisture out. Plugs it up just like that. And you're good to go. I went ahead and put the other two down the center because they're going to have to be put up anyway. Now that I'm looking at it, I probably should have put these ones more like right there. But we'll see how they look at night. But let's go ahead and turn them on again. So we got 50 feet of light in there. So we're gonna come back out when it's dark and we'll kick them on. See how much light they give off. So yeah, they should give off a, a fair amount. I mean, 
that even helps in the daytime you know if I'm filming and these are daylight white I think they're called but like you know if I'm you know trying to film over here which I was earlier it's not too bad because this camera is excellent but now if I turn this on much better no glare so we'll just see have to see how they work I mean I've got plenty of cord if I want to move those so you know like to the next rib but we'll just have to see uh, so let's come back out when it's dark time okay guys dark time it's like 8 40 in the evening so let's go ahead and let's get these lights on There we go. I pulled a Chevy in here because I wanted to raise the hood up and look under the hood and see, you know, how much light would go in the hood. And so, yeah. I'll, uh, let's go ahead and raise this hood up. You can see, I mean, if I gotta do brakes or something, I mean, I, I might not even need them back here. I don't know. That's one of them hinges making that noise. As you can see, I can see there's the oil filter. I mean, there's the transmission. She's box. Yeah, it's a. Uh, yeah, pretty nice. I thought about moving these lights over here, but I, I think they're going to be fine with that. I don't know, maybe. I still might move them over to this one here. I think I might do that but yeah there's there it is so yeah I mean nice and bright in there got here to the road oh yeah Pretty cool. Go ahead and shut this hood. Make sure these don't get hot. If they do, I got plenty of these. I'll just put one for the other side, but. I did turn off the uh, porch light too so you can get a better idea so there we go guys all right not really how to but just kind of what I did today so yeah I can film in here at night yeah that won't be no problem if I want to work on something here plenty of light yeah okay guys so anyway thanks for watching i appreciate it shea bear the myth the man the legend I'm gone for now i'll let you know if i'm going to do the back part of it i probably will i might as well and like i said running on two different switches so in case i got to do something you know back there i can have this much light too but like if i'm just working up here i don't need them all on so i think that's what i'll do I'll go ahead and get get another 10 pack and put them in here and I think it'll be all right so anyway again thanks for watching guys we'll see you in the next one bye bye everyone take care we got a doctor's appointment tomorrow so I'll let you know what they say about that but um still haven't heard when I'm gonna get the surgery done yet so we'll see and I'll let you guys know and i'll keep you posted all right guys bye bye everyone take care